What's going on guys? This is Steve and I hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is Gotham by Midnight issue number 5. I remember that I have uploaded the review of issue number 1. But uh, after that I stopped reviewing Gotham by Midnight. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't got time for that much reviews. But here we go with this one. Because today I, on the news, no, not today, just yesterday, I read that Gotham by Midnight is the most um, mature issue right now in the DC comic series so DC universe this is the most mature series so here we go with this review and I'm super excited that after reading this one this is pretty great so in DCComicsNews.com this review is by Robert Reed so he's saying that the supernatural takes true control of the as the specter engages in titanic combat with the souls of a village destroyed by the founders of Gotham City Gotham by Midnight 5 switches gears this is issue number 5 which is gears allowing the foreboding tone of previous issues to develop into full-fledged supernatural chaos. This issue, the issue, opens with the Spectre wrestling with the monster from the previous issue. The being wants the Spectre to turn his gaze to Gotham, the see the amount of the scene that holds the city in its grasp, and to burn it all away. The being called Echondrid pleads with the Spectre. Echondrid is not some emissary from the natural order, but the ghosts of those betrayed and slaughtered by Gotham City's founders, a village of people who were brutalized and cast out from their native home. It's a plea that the Spectre is willing to contemplate. But as this fight takes place, Corrigan's team moves in to try to prevent the worst. So in the Comic Vine review, the what they're saying this is by Korean Digital Squad with the Spectre versus the soul of the original Gotham both scream for vengeance but who scream will echo loudest so the good things about this one is last issue left off with Jim Carrigan finally losing control as the Spectre came out to see just what all the fuss is and to inflict God's wrath upon the spirit that's been tormenting the people of Gotham for years even centuries there's just only one slight problem that spirit is a different spirit of vengeance avenging the spirits of the native people who lived on the land before the colonists overran them this question became who was the specter and who were gives the specter orders more interested in avenging we don't know about this one but a titanic part of what makes this book's horror and terror still work has got to be the art by Ben Templesmith. Templesmith's use of both wild exaggerated character designs and judicious negative space gives the book a tone that matches not just what's going on on panel obviously but what's going on just under the surface. This also helps keep the book intimate and personal despite the obviously huge stakes as the battle of vengeance is underscored by the battle to decide who if anyone need to sacrifice and by issues and at least one of those questions is answered the bad things about this one is there's not much to dislike in this issue but the overall story reads very much like poltergeist in macro a city built atop of a Native American burial site. So the verdict is well worn or not. This is super cool. So Ray Fox writer is given a really, really great job. Hope you guys have liked it and just go to the store and buy this book. This is really enjoyable. Don't waste your money on other books. And have a great day. Don't forget to leave a like. Next one is coming. That is pretty cool. Have a great day.